Hello, everybody. So I totally know that like, I don't know, am I sideways or there's something not right. My phone, like when I pull up pictures on my phone, typically, so hi, Marianne. <laughs> Thank you, welcome back. So Muriel, Marianne, you have to tell me, am I um, like sideways on what you're seeing? Because normally, like my phone is tall and then when I turn it like wide, it kind of flips the view. So now I have to like turn my head. Yep, you're sideways. Okay, well, so I think there's something wrong with my phone and I don't know how to fix it. So I guess I'm gonna be sideways because my clamp, like it only opens about this far so it will only allow my phone to go in, you know, like this and it won't hold it if I put it tall like this. So <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. Hopefully, I don't know, good Lord, is the whole thing gonna be sideways then? I guess I'm gonna have to go to like the, my phone store, which I don't even know which one it is, so okay. Well, we'll figure that out. So, okay, sorry guys, for now we might be just, this might be like sideways Friday, <laughs> which is maybe how I'm feeling. I don't know if you can hear me, I'm kind of nasally sounding too, so my um, allergies have kicked in and I'm like feeling like, I don't know, like super congested. But anyway, so this is gonna be really hard. You guys are gonna keep seeing me do this. Okay, so hi Wendy, hi Nikki, hi Sandra. Oh my gosh, I'm almost standing on my head. Okay, so all right, we're just, we're gonna have to get through it because I there's no way for me to um, flip it right now, I don't think, without it like falling. Ay, 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 I don't know. Because now I'm worried about it being sideways when I do the other part too. Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so sorry guys. I'm gonna, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's just dive right in. We're just gonna see how this goes, all right? So yeah, I'm off for a week. Thank you guys so much for understanding. It was a total last minute. Like, I, it was kind of a possibility, and then um, it kind of, like, the phone call didn't come through all week long, and then Thursday afternoon while we're out celebrating Millie's birthday, the invitation comes in, hey, do you want to use our cottage for the weekend? And my sister, it was a friend of my sister's, and so it was one of those, we just couldn't pass it up, so we had to, like, we went up north, and we had a great time, we were right on Lake Huron, the, the weather was actually much better than I thought it was going to be, too, so yeah, we had a wonderful time, and all the things that Lily really wanted to do for her birthday Day, that on Thursday last week was her birthday the weather was really not very good so it wasn't conducive to doing any of like she wanted to rent paddle boards she wanted to rent a boat and go tubing she wanted to go jet skiing all these things none of them worked out for her birthday so we were able to do most of them up uh, up north over the weekend so she was really thankful too that we were able to take that trip and get away for a little bit so yeah anyway hopefully everybody else had a great holiday Labor Day weekend and school has started that feels kind of crazy too um, although it's quiet also like there's no chance of like kids coming through the door or needing anything right now while I'm doing Facebook live so I guess that's kind of good right um, so why don't we I'm gonna kind of look at my notes here let's jump in and do our first drawing for the um, metallic pearls this is what we are gonna we're just kind of acting as if um our next facebook live is right now obviously it is um so what i was gonna draw for last week we're gonna draw for this week instead so first drawing okay i'm gonna have to keep doing this just solve the problem for me by going to my ipad and freezing the screen okay <laughs> well maybe everybody else needs to do that I don't know. I'm so technical, technologically challenged. Can you guys tell? Oh, there's just no way for my any of my clamps to like hold my phone tall instead of wide. So, I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna kind of be looking around, thinking if there's anything else we can do. So, okay. In the meantime, here our first drawing for those metallic pearls. Those awesome. They're silver and gold in the pack goes to Kim Klein. Congratulations. I always do this and then the glare is so bad. I don't think I can see it at all, but Kim Klein is the winner. So Kim, I'll have your pearls for you down at the studio for you to pick up this week. Um, you guys want to see what we're going to give away uh, in this week's Facebook Live? And I got to dump those all those out because I have to do another drawing too. Okay, so this week we are going to give away... Hi, Amy Jo. <laughs> this is like freaky Friday I think um, so let me show it well these are called the galvanized clips 
you can't really see them very well. I don't know. Probably. Let's see. What's Marianne saying now? Uh, <laughs> yes, you could. All you have to do, you, she, Marianne's saying she couldn't do a live. Marianne, all you have to do is hit the go live button and then start talking. It's actually really, really simple. Um, okay, so yeah, anybody could do a live. You just, you just have to do it, which is kind of where I'm at today, right now. So, okay, these are the little galvanized clips. Can you guys see, like, that's kind of the front. I, I don't know, front or back, maybe that. Anyway, they're really cute. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and all the way around. So they're super cute little, they're, so they're kind of like a paper clip, but they're, they're much more cool than a paper clip. So that's what we're gonna give away today. This is one of the new products from our holiday catalog, which is live, woo, 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 isn't that awesome? All right, oh. Yeah, you like the look of the clips. Me too. I think they're going to be very, very cool. And maybe you win, right, with all your comments and shares. So make sure one entry, four commenting, and then three entries if you share the video. And make sure share everywhere that you can. I love your shares, and I so appreciate your shares, um, especially you know, if there are any other groups that you're a part of, um, other stamping and paper crafting groups. I'm, you know, obviously trying to grow my business and reach more people, so I would really, really appreciate those shares. So, and then I uh, will draw for these next week. All right, let's see. What do we have next? I've got lots of notes. So you guys, you know what, too? Because that came so last minute, our invitation last week, I actually prepped on Wednesday, which I normally prep on Thursday for Friday's Facebook Live. So I prepped on Wednesday because um, we were gonna be gone all day for Lily's birthday. So I was all ready to go. Like I kinda kept thinking last weekend, we didn't get home until later than I thought to. So I originally I was like, well maybe I can do like a Facebook Live over the weekend. And then it just didn't work out. There was so much to do um, to get ready for my customer appreciation event that we had this week, so I apologize. Um, and I, like I said, I was as bummed as anybody because I had done all my prep work. That power actually went out last Wednesday and I'm still like scrambling trying to like design cards in almost darkness. <laughs> so it was like kind of craziness actually. Um, so yeah, but I'll, I'm, so I've got lots to tell you guys about too, cause some of it's stuff I wanted to make sure to tell you last week. And then now we're on to fun new things this week. So, um, oh, want to give a quick shout out to Wendy. I think she's on here. Miss Wendy Drowley in our Inspired Stampers group in my downline. Um, she just advanced to what is called a qualified recruit. So she has um, accumulated $900 in sales since she bought the starter kit back during um, celebration. So she gets um, a $25 uh, shopping spree stamp set, whatever she'd like, $25 in product from me as a congratulations for getting to qualified recruit status. Um, so congratulations, Wendy. I just saw that that happened actually just in the last maybe probably a day or two since we could order from that holiday catalog. I think, well, no, you've been able to order from the holiday catalog. Um, but yeah, just in September she did that. So congratulations, Wendy. Good job. And the other awesome thing is she is halfway to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And then she's going to start getting 25% off all of her orders instead of just 20%. So let's see. What do we have? Mariana saying shared. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. And Wendy says, thank you. And I say, you're welcome, Wendy. Uh, congratulations. Um, okay, so now let's do our other drawing. We had um, a few um, online orders. So I'm going to put the names from the online orders in my little bag. I've got them in my paper pumpkin bag here. What are we giving away though? So from a couple weeks ago, I had announced that we were going to give away that seasoned with kindness. Should I do that? I don't know. Is that better? The Seasoned with Kindness stamp set. It looks, maybe it's too close. There. Okay. So anyway, this is what we're giving away. This is the host stamp set from the annual catalog. And okay, so like I said, I got my little paper pumpkin bag here. I am shaking these all around. And the winner is, I got one in my hand. Miss Sandra Johnson, congratulations, Sandra. She actually put a couple of online orders in, so she had pretty good odds. So yeah, congratulations, Sandra. You are the winner of the Season with Kindness Stamp Set. So I will send that out to you um, with your next package. All right, thanks so much, Sandra. And you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? We have the, I've got kind of like a double, let me get this out of the way here kind of a double prize. Um, let's see, this is the Swirls and Curls Textured Impression Embossing Folder. 
So can you guys see? I'm getting that right up close there. Uh, you're welcome. What is Sandra saying? Oh, hey, that's awesome. I'm glad you don't have it already, and I'm glad you won then. So congratulations, Sandra. Um, okay, so back to swirls and curls embossing folder. So this is part of our giveaway. And then the other part, this is the real red mixed satin ribbon, which I'm not even opening it because I actually have a sample. This was um, the ribbon that they tied all of our gifts with on the Alaskan cruise. So I don't know, can you guys see that? It's really pretty, and they call it mixed satin um, because when I look at it, can you guys see it's almost like it's got kind of stitching, if I get super close, kind of stitching on one side and then not stitching on the other side. So it's actually really cool and it ties really nicely. It's just a, a nice um, weight anyway. Okay, so sorry guys, I got a text and that drives me crazy when that's on my screen. So I had to, had to swipe that away in case you're wondering what I'm doing up there. So, okay, so this is what we'll be giving away this week. Um, with any online order of at least $30, use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit. Your name is entered into the drawing to win these two prizes, and then you're also gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. So, we'll do that next week, okay? All righty, keeping track on my notes here. What else, what else? Oh, the other thing I wanna mention is the super summer giveaway, because I know I said I was gonna do that drawing um, in September. And because of the, we were a little bit limited in what we could order out of the holiday catalog, so I needed to get a few more prizes for that drawing that aren't gonna be here until next week. So we will do the super summer giveaway drawing. Um, that was um, in terms of people that are watching live. If you posted projects like I demonstrated on Facebook Live, your name um, went into the drawing, two entries every single time you posted. And then if you came to events, you got um, entries. If you um, put in orders at events or even online orders, you got entries. If you joined a club, um, if you did a private part of your class, anyway, there are lots of different ways that you got your name into the drawing and that ended on August 31st so we're gonna do the drawings next week because then I'll have the prizes and actually show everything and you guys um, yeah we can do the drawing that way so awesome okay I'm turning my head just to make sure <laughs> there aren't any comments that I missed um, let's see what else oh do you guys want to see the so I know we've posted this a couple times but I just think these are so cute so these were kind of an alternate paper pumpkin idea can you see? So we used the Enjoy stamp. We used a little, um, that was kind of an extra piece that was in the kit. And then this super cute kind of gingham paper was in, this was the July paper pumpkin kit. So it made the kit itself, um, they were like little kind of picnic baskets almost. Hi Karen, how are you? Sorry if I'm sideways. My phone, I need, I need someone who knows phones to fix my, so it will tilt for me. Um, Okay, yeah, so July Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, th they, we made um, picnic baskets, and then this is kind of like a thin little, almost like, not tissue paper, I don't know how to describe it really, but it's not, it's not like a regular designer series paper, but they kind of crinkled up and fit in there really cute in the baskets, so I had some extra of that. And then um, the stamping, and then actually, I embossed, because um, I'm trying to remember, what was in the kit but can you guys see my new favorite thing to do this is vellum paper and then i embossed it with that basket weave embossing folder because then it kind of made it look similar to um that gingham print back there and then some fun flowers that four petal flower punch and i'm totally drawing a blank on the name of the stamp set but it coordinates with that four petal flower punch Maybe petal parade, I don't know. Anyway, a leaf, and then this was the super cool thing. Sandra told me how to do that, which um, is really fun. I think, honestly, you should like pull apart every single ribbon that we have. So this is the um, Granny Apple Green, that stitched weave ribbon or whatever it's called. So you basically, if you have like, you got your like piece of ribbon, you just um, cut off like the edge. I don't have any ribbon right here to show you but you know what I mean you cut off the seam and then you can like pull the strands or pieces off of it and so that's what that green stuff is but it kind of makes me want to like cut off and like pull apart every single ribbon that we have just to see <laughs> what it looks like because I think that's really cool if you guys can see that so anyway super cute so we had posted um, I, somebody I can't remember 
I don't know if I did or who did, but anyway, we posted this was like an alternate idea to use with Paper Pumpkin products, which if you guys go, if you, if you get Paper Pumpkin, there are, there's a Paper Pumpkin um, Facebook page that they always put lots of other alternate ideas on there too. So, you know, sometimes maybe you get a kit and you're like, oh, that's okay, but I don't know if I really wanna make the projects just the way they're intended. There are always lots of other ideas out there that you can find online through Pinterest and um, Facebook, I think are probably the two best ways. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was so cute. So I made these for all of my club members actually in um, August, everybody that's in either the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, Memory Keeping Club, and um, if you do the to-go kit club, um, that everyone got um, that little treat. So I love to make cute treats for everybody that's in club. Um, basically, the way you be a club member is you say, um, I wanna come to class locally every single month for 12 months. Um, you get host benefits one month. <clears throat> Uh-oh, the little tickle in my throat is starting. Um, I have my mints though, I'm all ready in case it happens. Um, yeah, uh, so what was I saying? Club member, yeah. So basically you just wanna come hang out with me every single month and at class, and then you are a club member instead because you say, yeah, I'm gonna come every month for 12 months. But the cool thing is, um, if you are not local to me, the to-go kits that I do every single month are also, you can be a club member in the to-go kit club, which basically means you wanna sign up and you get your option of like option number one, two, or three um, every single month. But basically you say, yeah, I wanna get those cute to-go kits from you every single month. That's another way to be a club member and then you get those cute treats from me every single month too. So let me know if you have any questions on that. Um, the other thing while I'm thinking about it is if you're not already um, signed up for my email list, if you go to uh, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and just click on the little sign up for the email list, that is the best way, other than watching these Facebook Lives every week, that is the best way to stay informed on everything that's going on locally at the Stamp Studio. Um, also like promotions and giveaways and you know all that good stuff that Stampin' Up! does. Um, I always try to email about all of those things. So that's my main form of communication is email. Um, so you will never not know what's going on if you sign up for my email list. So if you're not already on there, um, hop on to gatheringinspiration.com and then the link is right there and that'll get you all set up. And then you'll never miss out on knowing anything that's going on, okay? Um, let's see what else do we have. Um, I think the holiday catalog. Yes, it is live. Oh my goodness. So I used to only be able to show you the cover, right? And if you don't have this already, let me know. Cause I did, um, we did the customer appreciation event down at the stamp studio this week on Wednesday. So I hope everybody grabbed a holiday catalog at the event. And if you're not local and you don't have a holiday catalog, let me know. You can even comment right here um, and I can send you a holiday catalog because you need this. It is so, there's so much good stuff in here. I'm going to show you a couple things um, when I turn the camera down and I'm still trying to figure out if that's going <laughs> to... I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if it's still sideways. What do we got going here? Oh yeah, Marianne's saying the paper pumpkin, the Facebook page. Yeah, do that because there you there are links to all their YouTube videos that they make um, that are great. Like if because sometimes reading the directions it doesn't totally help me know how to put a kit together. So you can always watch the videos and there are links to their YouTube channel with all the Facebook. Um, or all of the um, paper pumpkin videos. And then, I mean, there are just links to everything, P uh, links to their Pinterest page, and then lots of videos um, and lots of alternate ideas too. So yeah, okay. Oh, oh good, Marianne, you got the holiday catalog. You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm glad that came to you. So yay, all right. I think I keep, I'm gonna do a quick double check because I went through that, I feel like more quickly than I thought I was going to. So I'm gonna make sure that I haven't missed. Oh, I know what I need to show you guys. Um, one thing, okay, so I'm gonna hold up one finger because I know there's one thing I need to show you guys. <laughs> and hopefully, did I, is that it? I showed you that, mm-hmm, okay, yep. Oh, okay, so do you guys know about this? If, you have, if you've hopped on to the Stampin' Up! website, um, it should be pretty, 
predominant right on there, but they are doing um, what they're calling like a host promotion during the month of September, and they have a pack of paper. It's this pack of paper called the Dashing Along Designer Series Paper. And the idea is for every $250 order that is put in, you automatically get a free pack of this Dashing Along, I keep trying to make sure, yep, Dashing Along Designer Series Paper. So it is, I think it's 12 sheets, um, but it's a little bit different in terms of how many and the which ones you get. Because I think you get like one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so let me show you guys. <clears throat> this is the one side. So you get four sheets of each of this designer series paper. So it's super duper duper cute. <coughs> very fun holiday. I think I'm gonna have to pull it out because I can't show you the back side very well, can I? Okay, so there's the first side, right? That has all three patterns. And then here is the reverse side and you get four sheets of each of these so you get a ton of this paper um, and it's just awesome we actually used this paper on one of the projects we made at the customer appreciation event and then these are just beautiful I love the stars I don't know if you guys can see those very well right and then I love this um, Oh, what would the pattern be called? It's, I don't know, like a brocade or something. Um, very, very, very pretty. I love the stripes, kind of like candy stripes on that side. The newspaper print is always kind of fun. It's probably sideways or upside down or who the heck knows at this point, but it's actually printed with garden green ink rather than um, black ink. Usually we do that in a black. And then this is just a fun pattern um, paper also. I think the coordinating colors are, let me make sure, yep. Cherry Cobbler, Garden Green, and, and Whisper White. All right, I need to find my mint. I'm like choking on my tongue right now. Okay, let's see Sally. Hi, Sally. Oh, you like the back side of the paper. So is, every, is everybody, is it still sideways for everybody? <laughs> Tell me, Sally, is it sideways? You just hopped on here, right? It probably is, but hopefully it's not driving anybody too crazy. Um, okay, so yeah, anyway. This pack of paper you can get for free with a $250 order. So that's um, $250 in product. You still also, yeah, it's still sideways, huh? Um, you still also get all the host benefits with a $250 order. So this is like in addition to the regular host benefits. So, you know, that's kind of a good size order, right? Which some people do put those size orders in and then you get this for free. Another way you could do it though is it is still sideways, huh? Okay. Oh, Sally's, all right, well, anyway, some people think it's okay and other people say it's sideways, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so another way, though, that you could get this is maybe if you get a few friends together and you all put orders in, if you put that in as one order, um, $250 in product gets you that free designer series paper. So kind of a fun promotion, gets you ready for the holidays. So, um, okay, let's see, I think we are ready we're going to move the camera all right and i apologize i have a feeling it's still going to be sideways um, but there's just no good way to fix that right now so turn your heads and i'll be working on this for next week okay um so give me one sec we're gonna flip the phone and do this right so you guys are looking up at the ceiling right now turn it that way yeah, it's funny because it looks fine to me, um, but I know it's not, right? This is probably straight, isn't it? But even if I turn my phone, right, like if I start moving this, oh, I don't know. I don't think I should do that. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're going to keep it this way for now. Oh, i got to find my grid paper. I forgot to do that. I get everything else out and then I forget my grid paper, but I know I've got some kind of stashed underneath here. All right, <clears throat> do I wanna show you this? No, not quite yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna set that there for a sec while I look at what I got going here. Um, can you guys, I'm like sniffling like crazy too. <laughs> These allergies, it's like I forget every, I mean, I kinda of know what's coming, but then, then they come and I'm like, oh yeah, this is how great they are, right? They just kinda of make you feel like you have a cold or something. Um, I'm trying to get my wrapper off my mint too, and that's not cooperating very well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
You know, I go away for one week and everything falls apart. It's kind of how it feels. All right. Can you hear me? I'm opening it. Hopefully I got the whole wrapper off. Okay. So you guys want to know what I'm eating? <laughs> my mint is a candy cane. <laughs> I've had these in my stash for forever. So I'll just like break off a little bit on the end because I think that peppermint mm. is kind of soothing on my throat is what I know. So, okay. Quick review of the calendar for September. So like I said, we just had our customer appreciation event. I am actually going to demonstrate the two cards that I'm going to show you guys today. If you missed the um, customer appreciation event, you won't feel like you missed it because I'm going to show you the projects that we made on Wednesday night down at the stamp studio. Those are what I'm going to demonstrate today using some awesome new holiday catalog product. And then continuing on with using awesome new holiday catalog product next week, on Wednesday, the second Wednesday of the month, Wednesday the 12th from 5 until 9, is the Simple Beautiful Card Class. And then two days later, same cards as Wednesday night, on Friday afternoon, always the Friday after the second Wednesday from 1 to 3, another Simple Beautiful Card Class. We will be playing with lots more new holiday catalog product in that class. The group gathering is always the third Tuesday of the month, so on the 18th of September. At the end of the month, well, hi, Joyce. How are you today? I hope everything's good in Alabama. Um, end of the month is our scrapbook class and memory keeping classes. That is always the last Tuesday of the month from 5 until 9. And then, I know you guys have heard me talk about this, but I'm trying to make sure everybody knows I need RSVPs for the one-day retreat and our first holiday stamp stat class that are on Saturday the 29th. Those RSVP and prepayments are due by Tuesday the 18th at the very latest. If you can get it to me sooner, that is awesome because then I can get do, going on more prep um, for that. Um, so the sooner the better, but definitely no later than the 18th. And then I got to flip the calendar up one, um, one flip. Oh gosh, I don't even have it on here, but I do know. So in um, October, actually, we have, it's on Thursday, October 4th is our next bingo night. So let me grab that flyer. Um, bingo, yep, Thursday, October 4, from 6 until 9. So this is the local event down at the Stamp Studio. We play like at least six games of bingo. I always make cute treats for everybody, and I always give everybody a gift for coming. Um, and then we do a couple of make and takes that night. So basically, you're all winners. Maybe you win a little bit of product, maybe you win a lot of product, maybe you don't win any product, but you still get all the fun things that I make for everybody and the make and takes that night. So RSVP and prepayment for bingo is due by Monday, September 24, and it's $30 for the night. You can win so much product, so much fun new holiday catalog stuff at bingo. So let me know if you're interested in that. And then I wanna show you guys the, so I know I mentioned the holiday stamp stack classes. Let's see. Um, Oh, yeah, time difference, Joyce. Yep, I know. Uh, and bingo, Karen. Yeah, if you want to come play bingo, let me know. I'd love to have you join us. Um, okay, so holiday stamp and stack classes. The first one is kind of in conjunction with the one-day retreat on Saturday, September 29th. We're going to run at any time from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it'll basically be set up that whole time and then whatever's convenient for you. It'll take you you know, maybe an hour, hour to two hours to put those cards together. So the stamp is deck is you make 12 cards, three each of four different designs. The first stamp is deck is going to be using this Making Christmas Bright stamp set. This is such a cute, 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 cute stamp set. And then those little bulbs too. Can you see? There's a coordinating punch then that you can punch all those things out. And then lots of fun sentiments two um let's see i see another comment oh yeah online bingo i know i still need to figure out how to do that marianne um but i, I think i still need i don't know that i have enough people to really do it so help help me find more people and then we can definitely do an online bingo that would be awesome um okay so cute um kind of just a fun string of lights there some stars and the more mini 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 stars then you've got this this little sentiment that says making spirits bright 
There's, um, it probably is May or Christmas be bright, right? And then friends make the season shine. So super cute stamp set. You get the stamp set in the class. The class fee is $40, so it includes the stamp set and then four different cards, three of each of them, so 12 total. Um, you can upgrade and also include the Christmas Bulb Builder Punch for another $16 in your class fee. And I'm going to show you, I just have one card designed so far. Um, I had really hoped to get more um, done, and then we went away last weekend and I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. So over the next weekend, week or so, 10 days or so, I'm going to get lots and lots accomplished. Oh, oh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so Marianne says yes for online bingo. Sally says this is on her list, okay, and Sandra and Nikki want to play online bingo. Okay, well, I think I need probably, I usually say eight is my minimum down at the studio, so if you guys can help me find five more people, then we can figure out how to play online bingo. Yeah, I can do that. So, yeah, I'll be looking, and you guys let me know, too. Um, okay, so this, like I said, is one of the cards that we will be making at that first stamp -a stack the Making Christmas Bright stamp -a stack class. Super, super, super cute, and I love, this is some fun designer series paper. I'm going to flip through the catalog and show you guys that designer series paper in just a couple minutes, too. So, then, um, what else do you guys need to know? Oh, well, let me back up and tell you, if you decide you want to do all three of these classes, I am going to throw in a bolt of the Mary Merlot and Copper Reversible Ribbon. And, of course, I didn't bring that out here, but it, oh, no, I didn't. I, I saw some ribbon over there, but it's not the right one. This is gorgeous ribbon, super shimmery, beautiful, coppery, like kind of that really deep kind of burgundy, also just beautiful. So like I said, if you sign up for all three stamp -a -stack classes, you get a free bolt of the Mary Merlot and Copper Reversible Ribbon. Also, I'm going to do these as to-go kits as well. So the first one, I need an RSVP by uh, Tuesday, September 18th and um, well prepayment also so RSVP and prepayment so that I can get your stamp set ordered and get all your parts and pieces put together for a class or for your to-go kit also it's an additional five dollar fee for a to-go kit um, and that just helps cover the time basically to put all the pieces together for you okay um oh could I turn the card yes you want to see it like this <laughs> does that is that better Okay, so Marianne's saying we'll have to work. Oh, yeah, working on more bingo people. Okay, so Sandra, hopefully, can you see it like that? I just think, oh, I love, I love the bulb, too. So you guys see, stamped the bulb in, um, this is shaded spruce ink, and then you can punch out separately the little topper on the bulb right there. So, yeah, that's one of the cards. And I'll have the other three designed and ready to go, so I'll be able to show you guys those um, next week on the, um, on the next Facebook Live video. I don't know. Maybe I should do this, huh? I wonder if I can stamp like that, too. I might be able to. Is that helpful? Much better. Okay, well, maybe that's what we need to do. Yeah, it's probably hard. I don't know. <laughs> then Marianne that freezed her, her thing is going to be all mixed up then, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, well, let's try this for a little bit. You guys let me know. So um, the next Stamp is Dat class is the Dashing Deer and I'm going to show you the stamp set. Um, this is, and this is probably going to, this is, I think, going to be the, going to be one of the most favorite stamp sets out of the holiday catalog. So I couldn't not do a stamp -a stack class with it. So this is the stamp set that we're going to use. I don't have the projects designed yet for that class. Um, that one is not until Thursday, October 25. It's a $40 fee for the stamp set, and then again, 12 cards, three each of four designs. You may want to upgrade and include the detailed deer thinlets, which are these guys right here. These are the detailed deer thinlets. Um, and let's see, my notes say that's an additional $33 fee to get the thinlets in there as well. RSVP and prepayment aren't due until October 15 for that one. So I'll kind of keep you updated on that one. And again, there'll be to-go kits available two for that one then the last one is the where do i have it right here the peaceful noel i love this is just a beautiful stamp set let me show you that so we've got um fill the season with happiness the noel may your christmas be holly jolly and bright 
Merry Little Christmas, and then a bunch of other fun um, kind of holiday themed embellishments and leaves and pine and so on. And then this is a card. This was actually my swap card. Um, so I did a holiday catalog swap. So I'm going to be um, getting those cards back maybe even next, I don't know, next week or the following week. So I'll be able to start showing you my swaps from the holiday catalog. But this is the one that I made and sent in. So it's that fun fold. Basically, it's the same card, um, you know, that you would normally make, but you just add another um, score line there. So this is five and a half inches. So you score it again at two and three quarter, and then it flips back this way. So very simple, easy card. And then um, you could put another piece of like whisper white card stock in here, or even just on this half to be able to write on. So when you open and close it, this half would cover up anything that you have inside. Or it can be kind of fun to have that white showing around there also. I just opted not to do that. But that's the idea, if you guys can see that card, right? So another teaser. We won't be making that particular card unless everybody says they want to, right? Um, but that is the Peaceful Noel, kind of an example card. And I'm trying to read, what is, is Joyce asking? Is the class on that card? Well, it could be, Joyce, if you love this one and you want me to um, make this as one of our options for the Peaceful Noel, we could, this could be one of the four cards that we make. So you guys tell me if you want to sign up for that Peaceful Noel class and you think you want to make that card, we can certainly do that. That cuts down on my workload too because then I already have one card designed, so I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you. My swap card is beautiful. Karen is saying, oh, and Joyce says, I sure do. Okay, well, we can do that, Joyce. Like I said, that would be handy for me, too. Now, that class is not for a little bit. The Peaceful Noel Stamp-A-Stack class is on Thursday, November 29, and that is a $35 fee where you get the stamp set, and then again, 12 cards, three each of four designs. Um, there's also a punch, which I don't think I brought over, but I can show you. It's the Sprig Punch that punches out these little guys so you can kind of see my copper. It's it's hooked together. This is one punch right here and then there's another one there and another one there. So three punches total. Um, but you can upgrade and include this spring punch for another $17. Those RSVPs aren't due for a while. I'm not going to wish the fall away because that's not until Monday, November 19th. Um, and like I said, for an additional $5 fee for each class, you could um, get a to-go kit. And the to-go kits will ship out shortly after the class happens. I don't have exact dates on those yet, but it'll, it'll just be probably middle of that next week or so after class that the um, to-go kits would go out. So if you sign up for all three, you get that bolt of ribbon. So let me know. I'd love to have you guys participate. And you would end up, if you did all three classes, you end up with 36 holiday catalogs. You'd have a good amount of holiday cards all ready to go. Plus, then you'd have a stamp set that you could make even more. If there was like a favorite, um, you know, that you loved, you could make more of that one. Okay, so I'm scooting that stuff out of the way. Got to check my notes again. I think maybe, am I getting close to showing? Oh, the other thing. Yeah, oh, I kind of jumped past this. But I guess to give you more of a teaser to entice you to want to do um, these holiday stamp stack classes, I'm going to show you. So if you guys remember seeing, um, I was advertising about a mistletoe season. This was my Christmas in August class that featured the mistletoe season stamp set. So you have to see the four cards that we made at that class. So while I can't show you, um, you know, all examples of projects that we're going to make in the holiday stamp stack, I'll tell you that I think I generally do cute stuff. So you won't be disappointed if you sign up for those stamp stack classes, even the whole series. I think you're going to love all the cards based on the fact that these are so cute, right? So this was one of the cards that we made in that Christmas in August class. You can see I love, it also featured that under the mistletoe designer series paper. So you're going to see that a lot, but I love this little bow is super cute. So if you can see here, you stamp e either way, maybe the kind of the inside and then the outline over top of it or vice versa. Um, and then these are really fun too. We This one, I just used this stamp right on there. And then the other thing that was included was a bunch of the red rhinestones. So you can see how fun those are on that card. Um, yes, and Joyce, you did get a to-go kit. So yes, yours should be coming. Those all shipped out. Um, if you got the latest, um, the abstract impressions class to go, those all shipped out on Wednesday. 
So you may be in the next, maybe today, maybe Monday, everybody should be getting those packages. So here's one of the cards that we made. This is another one. This one I cased from, I think her name is Anne Marie Heil. And I love, uh, she does such cute work. So this was one um, kind of at the last minute, I was like, oh, I needed one more card to offer in that class. And I just thought this was wonderful. <laughs> yes, Yahoo, you're right, Joyce. You're gonna have lots of fun with that package. Um, so that's another one. And it features more of that under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. And then this one also uses that red, the real red. This is um, not the one that we're giving away. This is a real red cotton ribbon that's in the annual catalog. We've got more rhinestones there, so very, very fun. And then another beautiful one with more rhinestones and more of the pretty red and some of the plaid paper that's in. I love, if you guys don't have, that is the, it's the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper that's in the um, in the annual catalog. So we've been able to order that for a while. And then this stamp set, actually everything is in the annual catalog. The Designer Series paper, the red rhinestones, the real red ribbon, and the mistletoe season all from the annual catalog because back in August I couldn't offer you know to get everybody a bunch of this stuff from the holiday catalog quite yet so but like I said my point is if you like whoops sorry I'm dropping those all over if you like these cards I'm going to make more cute cards you know similar idea um similar feel I guess I would say um in those other Stampa Stack classes so join me if you can either live or get it to go kit um Okay, do, 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 do. This is where I'm like, let me make sure I have um, told you guys about everything. Oh, the other thing too, I'm working on my next class to go. Um, it will feature, and I'll show you the stamp set in a sec, but it's the Falling for Leaves stamp set. Again, I had hoped to have that all designed. It's not quite ready to be revealed yet. So it will be on next week's Facebook Live video. So I'll show you that then. Um, let's see. Oh, Sally likes all the cards. Oh, and Marianne does too. Thank you so much. That's very sweet, you guys. Um, okay, let me grab this. I'm gonna put this right here too. So this is info on the host code and ordering online, which is now sideways, isn't it? Oh, let's see. If I do it like this, I'm gonna see if I can if I can stand to do it this way. It seems very weird, but okay, that'll give us enough right you guys will be able to see that okay we're gonna try it we're gonna try to stamp <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna have to stand because I stand like this at the table so now I'm gonna be like this at the table so let me see let me see if I can do that um oh one other quick thing I want to show you guys um I am doing a holiday catalog paper share so it basically features any of the designer series paper or there's some other fun paper in the holiday catalog so I'm gonna flip through and show you guys those real quick um, the idea is, I know I have it here somewhere, my details for this. Um, you get basically a quarter of a pack of every single designer series paper and kind of fun specialty paper that's in the holiday catalog. It doesn't include the like plain cardstock packs, um, but a quarter of a pack of every single pack of paper. It's $33. RSVPs are actually due by next Friday, September 14th. And um, it's, I think it's gonna be $7 to ship. I wrote that up and then I was like, cause it's a six by 12 piece of paper. I just have to make sure it's gonna fit in the normal packaging. But if you need this shipped to you, let me know and I'll confirm the pricing on that. So, but it will include, so if you guys can see, this is the All is Bright Designer Series paper. So a quarter of a pack of that paper. So you're basically gonna get, um, one of each design and it's cut in half. So you're gonna get a six by 12 piece of each of the papers in the All is Bright Designer Series paper. Oh, that's sideways again, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> that's gonna be my problem half the time I'm gonna forget and it's not gonna be the right way. Um, also the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper. You're gonna get a quarter of that pack of paper. And what else in here? There are so many beautiful designer series papers. This is a super cute one, the Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series Paper. Get a quarter of that pack of paper. And keep flipping. You guys have all been through this catalog, I bet, by now, right? Um, ooh, yes, the Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series Paper. That's what I used on my Peaceful Noel card was that paper. And I know I showed you guys that when I first 
um, brought back all that designer series paper from the Alaskan cruise. You're also going to get a quarter of a pack of the Joyous Noel. This is six by six glimmer paper. So all of the designer series paper in the holiday catalog is 12 by 12, I'm pretty sure. But that um, glimmer paper is only six by six. And then let's see where else there's another one coming up yes this is gorgeous too the frosted floral specialty designer series paper will be included in that designer series paper share and what else keep flipping oh yes here we go the country lane so this is great kind of for your fall projects country lane designer series paper and then you're also going to get that galvanized metallic paper that is a 12 by 12 we get two sheets so again you're going to get a 6 by 12 piece of that i see some comments coming up let's see yes oh <laughs> sally's list is long and then with every catalog i think stampin up will never be able to beat the beautiful papers they did in the last catalog and then basically they always do right you're so right Miriam. I think they're so good at kind of staying on the trends too. Like this is such a popular look right now. This, so I think what they did, they used, if you guys can see this metallic kind of look, they used that galvanized metallic paper. And then, oh yeah, it is on here too. The tin tile um, dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. So those two products made that look on there, which I think is, Oh, it's kind of just so antique -y and beautiful, right? Okay, so again, those two are included. And then there's, I think, one more set way back here. Yes, the Toil and Trouble, so our um, kind of Halloween paper, along with these black foil sheets. So can you see? They're kind of super shiny and shimmery and really fun. So you're going to get a quarter of a pack of that and then a quarter of a pack of the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. So you get a ton, just a great sample of every single pack of designer series paper. And then there are three packs of kind of that specialty paper, $33. So it's a great deal. Let me know if you're interested. I'd love to get a paper share out to you. Um, RSVPs are due for that though next uh, Friday, September 14th. Okay, so I think, let's see. Mm, I think we've done everything. I'm having a hard time reading my writing today. What's new, right? Stamp sets. Yep. Okay. I think we're good. You guys ready to do some stamping? Yay! I think I'm ready. I keep scanning around. I really feel like I've forgotten something, but I think we're good. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. I'm going to try to do this the sideways. So this is the card that we made. Um, one of them at the customer appreciation event on Wednesday that features the falling for leaves stamp set. So this is the one that I'm going to do my next class to go on. So I'll give you I'll give you all the details as soon as I have them. Um, oh hi Sunday, how are you? Sorry, things are kind of sideways. Maybe you won't even know because I'm going to do such a good job at this. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, Karen's working with the shiny black paper and the toil and trouble. Oh, and they're really, she says they're really neat. They are, aren't they? That's awesome. Yeah, perfect to get. It's kind of a good day, starting to feel a little bit like fall around here and ready for Halloween fun, right? So speaking of fall, falling for leaves, another great option for you, right? I'm going to scoot that up out of the way a little bit more. Maybe. I don't want to bump the little, my stand here. I don't want to bump that. Okay. So let me show you what we did. I kind of wanted to do, because um, this, honestly, when I was working on this, it was still like 90 degrees here. So it was really hard for me to like get ready for fall, basically. It was just so hot. So I kind of went with some more kind of summery colors on this card, but I thought it was kind of fun to try something different like that. Okay. So we have lots of stamps here. I'm gonna kind of get everything out and then I'll show you what we did. So, okay, um, let me give you measurements too while I'm thinking about it and before we get, okay, so this I'm gonna have to do this way because it's not all gonna fit otherwise, but you guys know this, right? Here's our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. 
I cut it in half at five and a half, and then I scored it in half at four and a quarter to make our fold in our card, right? Right? <laughs> okay, I gotta get this set up this way so I can start working this way, okay? Then I have a piece of designer series paper. This is some of that, I don't remember the name of it, but the fall designer series paper. You can, can kind of get the idea there, right? Um, let's see, Sunday saying, hi. Oh, I, it's okay, you're late, you're here, it's great. You can always watch later. Um, yeah, so this is some of the fall designer series paper. Totally drawing a blank on the name, but this is a two by five inch piece. And then this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches. And I think that's all you need. Oh, actually, there is one more strip. Where's my little white strip? Uh-oh. I'm going to come across it, I hope. It's, it's here somewhere. This little white strip. This is, I think, three quarters inch by maybe three. Oh, I sure hope it's here. Otherwise, I'll have to run back and grab one. Okay. We'll see. We're going to kind of just get started and see if we can't find it. So we are going to use this piece right here first. Um, yep. And I want my Daffodil Delight ink. So I'm gonna grab that and this stamp right here. We want this guy here first. We're gonna ink him up. This is so weird, sorry ladies. Okay, so we're inking this up. And actually I'm having these kind of come down here, aren't I? So I'm gonna put him maybe right about there, okay? And then, this is kind of fun, then you fill in the inside if you want. Maybe you could leave your leaves like that. Okay, now the camera's really in my way to try to get this. That's not lined up very well. Ah, it's okay, you know what? That's actually really cool because it looked way off to me, so I think there's some forgiveness in this. So if you're not exactly on the stamps, the stamps are kind of forgiving that way. Okay, so I think that's all we had for the yellow, our Daffodil Delight, so I'll move that guy out of the way. Then we are gonna grab our Bermuda Bay, and same idea. Love these leaves, right? Okay, so we're gonna ink this guy up. I'm gonna stamp him right there. And then another guy, maybe right about there, right? And then I've got the insides, which are right here. So again, with our Bermuda Bay ink. Okay, this is so weird. You guys, you don't know. If someone had a video camera of like how I look right now, it would be kind of funny. Okay, so those are going inside there. And then last, we need this Granny Apple Green. I'm still looking for my little white strip. I'm gonna have to run back and grab one. Okay, so this is another little, just kind of a cute, dainty little stamp here. And we're gonna stamp one there. And can you, if I can move this down a little bit more, can't I? Hi, Bonnie, how are you? It was good to see you the other night. All right, let's see. Stamp maybe one there. And we're gonna do one more, kind of right over there. So I think that's basically a, the idea. Then we also need to stamp one of our big, this big, beautiful leaf. Now I will tell you, there is a ton of um, detail in, especially the thinlets and framelits that go with this because I had made this card for our customer appreciation event and it gets pretty crowded at the stamp studio. I didn't want to use a bunch of really detailed thinlets and dies and things. So we'll use those though on the class to go. So keep that in mind. There, awesome, beautiful. I still keep thinking I'm gonna find that white strip. It's like nowhere. I know I had it too. I went through everything last night and I know I had it. But let me show you, in the meantime, these are all of the really pretty detailed thinlets and framelits. So this is one, this is actually really cool. So we're gonna use this one to cut this piece out, but it also, hi Leah, good morning, how are you? I'm glad you could join us. Sorry if we're sideways, my camera's being funny. Um, so this one, fits right over top of there, so you can cut it out and then it gives you all of that detail too. So it's really, really, really cool. And then these will cut out just kind of um, the outside edges and then here's some more detailed pieces along with this one right here too. So it's a beautiful framelit set that you're not really gonna see right now, but you will when I show you those to-go kit classes next week. Okay, big shot, where are you? Let's do this. 
do our die cutting here. Okay. Okay, moving stuff out of the way. I put the big shot down. So this might be sideways right now too. Okay. I'm gonna pop that guy right on there. We're running this. Get him all set up there. I can't wait to watch this video back and see how ridiculous it all is. <laughs> Oops, and it moved. Oh, hold on. I wasn't paying attention when I put that top on, I don't think. Okay. Be careful. I keep doing it. And this isn't even sideways now. I'm not even like attempting because it wouldn't even fit on the table, right? Okay, that'll be good enough, right? Okay, cranking our handle, popping that through. Maybe we won't worry about the sentiment. You guys will get the idea, right? So anyway, that cut that out beautifully, perfectly, easily, right? Let me get these things out of the way. <coughs> okay, so now we can put everything together. So we're gonna add our designer series paper on the bottom of this guy. Just run in my adhesive. We're gonna pop him. Okay, I'm really trying hard to do this <laughs> like this. Okay, we got that one. Then we're gonna put some more adhesive. You wanna use a good amount on the back of this one to keep it on your card, right? Oops, things go flying. Gonna add this. This was crumb cake card base, if I didn't say that. Whisper white. And then our fall designer series paper ribbon. So this is my burlap ribbon. And I think it's easiest to, in this case, just run a big long strip of adhesive right along there. And I'm going to lay this, and it's okay if it kind of goes off the edge. Actually, I wanted it up a little bit more though. So I'm going to try it right there, and I'm going to grab my scissors, cut him just like that, okay? So then I'm going to kind of smooth him out right on there and then we are going to put um, some dimensionals on the back of our leaf. I love this leaf. You guys see all the cute detail on it? It's like it's smiling at you right there in the middle. There's something about that pretty happy flower right in the middle of that. Okay, so I'm peeling the dimensionals off the back of this guy and then he's just going to kind of fit right on there. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of our gold metallic pearls that I think Kim won. I don't know if she was on here when when I drew her name. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put three because um, it kind of adds a little bit more. So I'm gonna put one. Oops. I need my little take a pick tool. I gotta go get that. And start using that. There. There, put three of those right in there. So that is the idea. If I had my little strip of paper, I would do that little thank you, but I don't, and I'm not gonna go get it. But you guys get the idea. So the little thank you is gonna go right there, right? But isn't that so pretty? Love the leaves, love the colors, um, and yeah, just love the stamp set. So if you want that class to go, I will be getting details out very shortly on that one, okay? Um, all right, let me show you the other project. Oh, actually, do I have it? I always have my little note that says, use your chamois. So let's clean these off. It is still a little, it's really hard. <laughs> I opened it up, I'm like, oh, it's really hard, but it's still wet in the middle. So we're just gonna use the middle. So it does, have you guys noticed that if you have a chamois yet? It's really, gets really hard if, if you, you know, haven't used it for a little bit or haven't added water to it, but just, run it under water, let it soak in there. I kind of use my fingers to like squish the water in and it, it softens right back up. So it's a very, very, such a good tool to have. All right, I'll clean a couple more. That way it doesn't get everything all icky, right? Okay, last one, we're gonna clean our big guy. There, but do you love that? How we, it's all clean, it's like magic, okay. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. Our, oops. Because if I leave it out, then I'll be trying to put it on the next card 
and I'll get really, really confused, ladies. And you don't want that. You don't want to see confused Amy, right? <laughs> it wouldn't be good. Not at all. Okay, so the next one, you guys ready to see it? I was teasing you. Did I did I tell you that? I don't know if I was if I was telling you I was teasing you or not, but here let me show you. This next card features Oh, did I bump everything? I think I did. Sorry if things are like shaken, crazy shaken. So it features the Dashing Deer stamp set. Yeah, I showed you guys these. I know I did. Um, and then the Detailed Deer Thinlets. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Sandra's saying, hi, Leah. And I think you guys live not very far from each other, right? So that's super cute that you're doing that. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is the card that we are going to make that I'm going to show you guys that features the Dashing Deer stamp set and the Detailed Deer Thinlets. So can you see... I love that little scroll work detail. And I had my lovely assistant, Lily, die cut all those for everybody. <laughs> you guys are so cute. She, Leah says, hi, Sandra, with cute smiley faces. Um, yeah, so Lily die cut all these for everybody down at the stamp studio so they wouldn't have to do those. She sat here at home one night and watched TV and cranked her big shot handle a whole bunch of times. But anyway, oh, and the other thing, this is that um, dashing along designer series paper that you can get for free in um, September with a $250 order. So that is kind of a good example of that. So let me show you how we're gonna make this card. And then, like I said, this is an example of obviously a card made with this product like we might make at our class to go in October using the Dashing Deer stamp set and so on. So, and that was really simple. You guys will have all the details. You could pop that one out in no time. So we'll do four different cards for that one. Okay, um, yeah, there's not too much. Let's see, maybe, you know what? Let's do our die cutting right now before I get everything out. Let me grab the big shot and we'll just die cut those couple of things that we need. Cause I wanna show you, hopefully this works really well cause I'm looking around for my big shot die brush so I don't see it. Okay, so I've got just a strip of cherry cobbler stock we are using these are the layering circle framelits <laughs> very yes it is very nice to have a live-in lovely assistant yes I appreciate her help so much especially kind of in crunch time trying to get ready for events okay so on the back here is where I keep that little detailed piece so we're gonna do the kind of that goes behind our sentiment and then this one is that really pretty scroll. So bear with me if it wiggles a little bit, but I'm gonna crank this back and forth a couple of times because that tends to help with those really detailed pieces to get them cut through really well. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So I know the circle pops right out, that's easy, right? So let's see what this one's gonna do. Ooh, it is gonna work pretty well, I think. We've got a couple of little pieces. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then there's one. Oh, those silly little guys. <laughs> but if we use the paper snips. So this is like old school when you're um, on Facebook Live and you can't walk the five steps it takes to get to your craft room. This is what you do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, maybe I do need it. You shouldn't even really see everything else popped right out. If I had my Big Shot die brush, you wouldn't even have to do this, but I think it's my allergies. They're making me not want to walk anywhere or do anything. Sorry. Okay. Woohoo! Amy's a little loopy today. Okay. There we go. We got all those out. So we're going to scoot this out of the way. All right. And let's put our card together. So again, Eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We cut it in half at five and a half inches and we scored it in half at four, oops, at four and a quarter inches, right? So there's our fold for our card. Scooting that out of the way. Then we have, actually this piece goes on the inside, a four by five and a quarter inch piece that goes on the inside of our card with our sentiment that says, with appreciation for all you do and for your year-round spirit of giving. And now I'm going to turn it this way so you can actually read it. 
Um, let's see. Karen says, I really love the Dashing Deer set and hope to get it. I hear you. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, me too. Me too. I would love for you to be able to get that. This piece of designer series paper goes right across the actual card stock itself. So it measures two by five and a half inches. And then this is the other piece of Whisper White cardstock that goes on the front of our card that measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay? So I think that's it. So let's grab our, get all the stamps and things out. Can you guys still, oh, I got another text. Hold on, I gotta, you guys can't see that, but I gotta, I gotta swipe that up out of the way. Okay, get my stamps out here. So this is such a cute stamp set. Did you guys see, I don't know if I really showed you all of the sentiments, right? Let's look at them real quick. We're using this stamp today. Remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. That's a pretty nice sentiment, right? Happiest Christmas wishes. We are using this many merry thanks. And then we're using both of those deer. But isn't this one really cool with all the detail on him? And then that's the sentiment that we put on the inside. So we're using a number of the stamps in the stamp set right now. Okay, we also need that punch. I'll show you guys that in a sec. All right, I'm gonna turn things this way so I remember to stamp them the right way for you guys. So let's do the inside sentiment on this piece and then I can scoot this out of the way. So this is Cherry Cobbler ink. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I've got it upside, or not upside down, right side up, right? Okay. Ink that up, tap, tap, tap. Oh boy, what are the chances this is gonna be straight enough? Oh, hey, hey, did I get lucky doing that weird sideways? Okay, and then um, also just on a strip of Whisper White card stock, card stock, we're gonna do our many merry thanks. Press down, lift up, beautiful. Do I need that red? I don't think I need that anymore. We're gonna get rid of our cherry cobbler ink. We're gonna punch this little baby out. This is our <laughs> one and a half inch circle punch. Okay. Pop this one right in there. And we're good with that one. Okay. Now we're going to do our stamping. Let's get these guys out of the way. Um, with our deer, we need, we're going to do the mossy meadow ink on the bottom first. Okay. So mossy meadow, kind of the grass that the deer are standing on, right? Love that. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Um, all the detail on there. A little, I don't know, is that, maybe it's a poinsettia plant or flower. I'm not sure. Okay, and then with our early espresso ink, we are going to stamp our, our deer, our reindeer, right? So we're going to press straight down straight up so there's one beautiful like good solid images there right and then one more guy right there okay beautiful love it just scooting these guys out of the way and let's see i think we can kind of put things together so let's put our sentiment on the inside of our card <laughs> I keep, oh, that's right, I have to go sideways. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy right in here, right? And, and then on the outside, we're going to put our strip. Oh, there's that pretty candy stripe. Doesn't that look fun? That designer series paper there. The dashing along, post only, exclusive, only can get it with a $250 product order in September plus all your other free host benefits with that order. So this is that paper is in addition to your regular host benefits. We're gonna put some adhesive on the back of our deer piece and pop him maybe right about there. And then we're gonna put this guy on there. We are gonna use a dimensional on the back of him. We got a couple more last little details to add. We're gonna put our many merry thanks right there. So I have to show you guys, um, this is my trick because 
while I appreciate the um, fine tip glue pen, I don't necessarily have the patience to use that on something like this, right? So this is the right way, right side, right? I am gonna flip it over to have the back side. I'm gonna use my silicone craft sheet. Oh, let me turn the right way. And I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back of this. So you can see there's kind of adhesive. Can you kind of see that? Kind of all over the place on there, right? But there's nothing on my work surface, so nothing else is gonna stick. And then I'm just gonna lay this down on there. I'm gonna get it about where I want it. And then if you just kind of rub to help adhere it, number one, right? But then number two, if you rub, you kind of take off all that excess adhesive that you might um, get on there when it kind of goes in between all that scroll work. And I think that is a lot easier, a lot faster for me, and it's adhered really, really nicely. So not to ha say anything against the fine tip glue pen, but I think that's just a really fast, easy way to get that adhered on there. And then, where is that? Oh, it's almost hiding from me. So this is our new, what is this called? Braided linen trim, and it's a 3 16 inch. So it's not too wide, but it's just a nice, can you see the braiding on there? Do I have to turn it? You guys get the idea, right? So we're gonna make a bow with our braided linen trim. Get my thumb out of the way there, right? And get my scissors, I'm gonna trim him off. I'm gonna find a glue dot that I do have right here. Good stuff, okay? I'm gonna pop that on my glue dot, all right? And then I'm just gonna put this guy maybe right about there. I kind of feel like I'm covering up that sentiment a little bit, but that's the idea. So there you go. There is our second project for today. So we've got some awesome new product from the holiday catalog that we featured on these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed both of those projects. Let me do a quick recap here. So as always, if you put in at least a $30 order online, by next Wednesday, you are going to get the projects that I demonstrated here on Facebook Live, right? And then your name is entered into the drawing to win. You guys remember it was the swirls and curls embossing folder and then a full bolt of the Real Red Mixed Satin Ribbon that I've got kind of the little piece right there, right? And then as always, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. This is the host code to use this month. It's FC39YQJA. So thank you so much for watching. I apologize. I'm hoping I can get my phone figured out. I kept like turning it off and turning back on thinking, well, that'll just fix it, right? Um, and it didn't, of course. So I'm going to have to get some expert advice on how to uh, fix that. So in the meantime, thank you so much for your patience with me today. And I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you next Friday. Have a good Friday and have a good weekend. Bye everybody.